uh, of the waste board project. Um, so our, you know, our waste board's been empty. I've got the contractor um, cleaning the, the catwalk away. It's going to be gone. Um, we're, we're in the construction phase of the platform. We're just replacing beams um, with steel that's going to be galvanized. And then there'll be plates on top that uh, will we'll, uh, have a grading up there, steel galvanized uh, deck. And um, that'll have the operation um, device that opens and closes the sluice gate, just like the, the wooden dock was. Um, we'll also have the intake controls for, there's a big screen intake that the water uh, it lifts off the bottom of the reservoir. It's on its flex tin, so it, it tends to be able to be raised up, cleaned, and then put back. So that's all being redone. Um, the contractor, we're going to get a, a, a pump that pumps grout into the piping that we had short circuiting in. It's a term used when water bypasses in, in line and, mm -hmm. and it gets in, into where it's not supposed to be. And uh, we're going to grout that so it's sealed up real good. Um, and then it's just a matter of putting uh, some rails on that new platform for the ODFW docks to attach to. And uh, sooner we can start filling that thing up the better. So we're looking at, um, they're doing final measurements today. The, the beams have already been ordered. Um, and the platform is just basically just cut to fit. So uh, we've got um, a couple of good, uh, we've got uh, Bill Sexton, uh, he, he's, he's the guy that, uh, does all the pine and, and work in uh, Devil's Lake. So he's well known in the area. So that's all Yeah. So that's all being worked out and uh, just expedited as quickly as we can. And we've also got the Highway 101 bypass. We've um, finished ins inserting the 10 inch valve and we have one home that's on the, I was trying to explain it earlier for the bad timing, but there's, there's a house that's on the east side of Trough Pass Little Oak Cove, you know, the, there's a home back in there. And I at one forgot about that house when we were shutting the water main down. They had called City Hall at 5 o'clock and said, hey, we don't have any water. And so we turned the valves back on and, and uh, we actually had to run a tent line to cross over the highway and feed them uh, water from Little Oak Cove. So it was probably about 250 feet of tent poly just to feed that crossing. But uh, anyway, it's uh, coming along well. We're down to when gas gets out of there, Northwest Natural, all we'll have left is that temporary line that runs along the highway. So we're all already making a bench slot for it and, and kind of a trough. Um, the company is called Elk Mountain. They're the ones putting in the culvert. We're going to work with them to get under their access roads to where they're going to be working on the culverts themselves. They're quite large. They're going to be like, they're upgrading from say a 24 inch to like 48 and then the other wow. one is going to be um, a 36 into like a, almost a five foot down coal. Wow. But they're carrying creeks through there. One of them, I believe, is Dead Horse Creek and the other one is a known creek, a small one. So uh, it's quite a big job. It's almost 900 feet of temp line. So Grace been busy trying to get that all staged. Now, um, the other thing is uh, coming up is the uh, salmon bait, and uh, the crew's lined up to kind of help what we, we can, and I was thinking I could take some of that window time for salmon bait and, and get down to uh, Mr. Laddick at 900 and do the saw cut, get that out of the way, and they can just go in there with the trailer, pull that chuck of asphalt. It's quite thick. It's almost a thick We've got so many overlays since that highway's been put in that it just adds up. It's quite thick in there. So busting through that is uh, once that's done, we can we can pop hole down. I was thinking about maybe going to a valve riser where there's an existing hole maybe going alongside the valve. So if that's a possibility, if we get our back trailer in, into something like that, it would cut the time really quick. We wouldn't have to cut the highway down. Um, that's about it. I'll get some more information from Quinn and, and Larry on, on that. It's, it's a pretty big decision to make for, for, for that. And I, my biggest worry is down the road. If it sells, we don't want to be, the, the, the darn city made that decision and, you know, now we're stuck with it. You know, someone else buys the property. There's all those, the 
variable. So really we need to get a problem network at all. I apologize for not getting some of that earlier, but we've been really busy with other stuff. But I'll get the depth of the rock, if there is any, and uh, talk to Quinn and get, a, get at least a letter from Quinn for you guys. And let him know what exactly he meant by, um, a, you know, I, I don't know how he worded it, where it was an inconvenience or something like that. But to put it in logical over here. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. <clears throat> on, that great, anything, uh, any questions? on that great uh, water spot, mm -hmm. uh, do you suppose Hancock would be uh, a hole to uh, give us some of the products that we need for the salmon bait and also uh, for the fleet of flowers? Yeah, possibly. It'd be worth Maybe you building, know. building that. Maybe, yeah. Well, it was the forestry department, but it was the city's donation yeah, but, of the water. But yeah, but uh, and the Department of Forestry. But, but it was Hancock's property as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we saved their property. So with maybe, the water, too, along with the forestry yeah. department. Maybe you can tell that know. on. Say, uh, I would contact them with just the sentiment that the mayor just expressed, which was the mayor is wondering if there's any goodwill coming our way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or is it rigid? It's it's a solid poly line. Okay. So would there be any advantage for us to I mean, leave it in place in case something should happen in the future? Well, we're going to, the thing, I took that into thing. consideration. We'll be able to utilize this for pumps. And uh, like if we have to bypass, we had to rent um, several hundred feet of uh, pump hose when we had to bypass the creek for the reservoir. Um, a lot of times there's emergency pumping we have to do for, for say, sanitary. So have all that in stock. We're going to have this, we're going to have 900 feet of snow oh. storage line. It's mm -hmm. definitely usable, and we can transition it to other sizes. That's why five inches so key. It's the line six. I got five, so we can actually use it with a four or six. Four. Yeah. So um, I kind of yeah found a kind of a, a product that we can use for pumping. Okay. One, uh, that's a good question. Are you done? No, I was just saying that's a good, good question. Oh. Yeah. On uh, council comments, uh, uh, two of our councilors were uh, talking about Furry's uh, uh, replacement upcoming. Um, you know, we should address that a little bit this evening. I want uh, everybody to know that. Uh, Council of Governments has uh, offered their services to help us in any way uh, on uh, bringing whoever we decide. Also, I'd like to mention that uh, also that uh, we'd like to hire from within, and if uh, if our current staff uh, after very retired, if any of them uh, are. Uh, interested in that position, and we can uh, fill it fill responsibly, and we should look into that as well. Uh, so anyway, uh, you, you started with the email, and you, uh, sure. um, you can to make some comments? Hopefully everybody's got a chance to read through the job description. Um, <coughs> any comments? Anybody seen? Yeah. I read it and like all job descriptions it doesn't even begin to scratch the surface of what they really do. But yeah. we'll keep that in. So I, I think we should really get started in uh, approaching on how we're going to handle the recruitment on this. Hopefully we can you know have somebody in place here before and I know doing recruitment for I'm working is really getting hard getting people. So I would encourage us to 
be serious and start start to include the process here. And if council um, and cities is willing to help us out, let's let's, let's grab on. We need some advice from them. We need to uh, interview our own people first. Publicly, uh, before we do any interviewing and look at all applications, um, that is just keep our noses above the water. All right. And since uh, since it's, uh, uh, it'll be sorted, then I'll uh, have Corey get a hold of the council of governments, and they can uh, give us their input as well. Yes, um, so under council comments, uh, I'll include it on just a, a, this subject is that uh, two things, uh, Mr. Mayor. I think that uh, I'm depending upon the circumstance that I think if we're if for to, to fill a position, I think that we need to. It's if, if the onus is on us to, to post that position publicly. That it's not like we're a, a private company that has the discretion of promoting from within. We can do that based upon interviews, but I think that we we're required to post that position. No, she, or Murray said the first says no. But we don't have to. The employee handbook gives the opportunity to hire from within. Okay. And if you do that, of course, now you have another vacancy. And then you can look around and hire from within again. Okay. But at some point, you're going to have a vacancy that you don't have that availability anymore, and then you you are required to publicly notice. Yeah. The second thing is, I was in a um, conversation with a friend, of <coughs> uh, and the council has met him, introduced him. And that would be uh, Kevin Greenwood, the uh, uh, the, the port uh, manager for uh, uh, Newport. Port of Newport, and uh, uh, Kevin has done graduate work in you know civil, you know governments, and he also served as city manager for the city of Garibaldi. And I was telling him what was going on uh, with Curry's uh, position, and he said he would be if we wanted to invite him to, to come up and just give us a primer on options of uh, like. Uh, filling the job from within, the current, or maybe there, you know, uh, uh, a different uh, form of uh, 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 governance of the city with, with a city, an actual city manager, and the costs associated with that, and what we what we could expect, and yada yada yada. And I'm just wondering if um, if uh, if Curry might, uh, if, if the council felt uh, good about that, maybe we, Curry could invite Kevin. And you can come up and give us a little presentation on on uh, on filling, make, helping us to make a decision on filling that position. Yeah. Kevin and Bud both uh, helped us in the past. They came up with the number of the uh, presentation here. And we were doing, yeah, sure. Um, is there a possibility of doing a committee, a personnel committee, just so that the, based on recommendations to the council? Like there's a budget committee, sometimes there's a uh, personnel committee that's formed just to decide you know. mm -hmm. I, I, I appreciate the, the councilwoman's uh, uh, position. Sometimes it's, it's a matter of, of good time constraint for all of us. And so we, it might be, you know, if, if this is something that the council, uh, rest of the council might think would be uh, uh, informative for us, I would recommend uh, uh, scheduling it on the same day as our regular council meeting, but an hour earlier. So my thought is that sometimes with the committee, it's two people versus six that are trying to coordinate. To do some homework to answer some of the questions. 
that are being proposed, like should we uh, follow his recommendation? Should we hire within? Is there anybody interested in hiring within? Those are the questions that the committee could Would you like to make, to make a motion on that? Sure, I'll, I'll make a motion I'll, I'll, I'll that, yeah, that uh, the council forms the personnel subcommittee to do some recommendations to the council to fulfill the replacement. I would second that. Motion is made and seconded. Any uh, discussion? Call, please. Uh, uh, Gandhi? No. Yes. Matlow? Yes. Bates? Yeah. Grant? Aye. Rustin Hogan? Yes. Wiseman? Yes. <coughs> Do you want to form that subcommittee this evening? I'll let the committee. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> expect to pay for mm -hmm. for that sure. in the mm -hmm. position as well as what we're paying now for the position I know. And so also, things to to the to, to way yeah yeah we can also get those numbers to the the city and they can provide numbers like that for us too so the three of you are going to be on the committee <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said, you know, until you read your hand. No, I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> so, so is it, is it Dan, oh, Jeff, and Joe? Is that the committee? Hey, you can put Joe on I'll speak for myself, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, for three days. If you propose it to Joe, um, if she says no, I'll do it. Oh, good man. You just tell her, you know, Robert said he'd do it, but in case he can't, it's your people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think it's more like the seventh. It's the third. It's the third. It's the third. Okay. That works. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to have We're going to have our Sam day hats on. I can't walk the trolley work. I finally don't have to work on that day. So. Wow. I don't have to work on any day. It's my time. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're adjourned. Nine o'clock.